K. Murtaugh, Mert Witness 1. This is September 24th, 2020. And I had a rather interesting link sent to me. Um, it's over on a Timothy Charles Holmeseth Facebook page. I believe that is the same one that's offering the reward uh, for his arrest. And in the site is an article that is apparently written by the Pentagon Pedophile Task Force at around 5 o'clock this afternoon. Uh, this is coming up on 10 o'clock at night here in Orlando. So this has been out there quite a while and this is the first I've heard of it. Um, anyway, on page one, it starts out there is presently an organized paramilitary domestic terror group operating inside the United States that has launched what they call Operation Chaos. It is all out for the public to see and Timothy Charles Humseth is terrified of the end result, incarceration. Timothy Charles Humseth, who once made the news for claiming to know the whereabouts of missing Florida child Haley Cummings and then wrote disgusting stories about the child's rape vagina, has embarrassed himself over a decade. Evidence appears to show that Holmseth is being investigated by multiple agencies and is on the run from the law. Holmseth is a coward who sleeps on couches to avoid owning up to his decision to skip out on a court date. Now it goes on for a little bit and it explains my Operation Chaos. And it is what comes after that that kind of struck me as fascinating, to say the least. And the paragraph just before this comes up is, Since the time Timothy Charles Humseth emerged into the public stage with his fascination over missing children, his life has been a nearly stop, non-stop online saga of creepy things about what appear to be bizarre feuds and con convicted pedophiles, prisoners, and gang stalkers who the admins he talks to on the telephone. Holmseth has claimed to have videos that he will hang out with and work with pedophiles. He feels comfortable hearing their disgusting stories and likes to repeat them and exploit children of sexual abuse. And what I find fascinating is what came out. And what you see is uh, a chat. Now, with a variance from the original chat and the items posted, is that there has been a name switch. And instead of what Timothy Holmseth has claimed to be my name, is his name. Now, before anybody starts saying that this might be a game where somebody's played around with the chats and edited them, that's always a possibility. But you must understand something. For the last 10 years, it has been Mr. Holmseth almost nonstop that has promoted this specific chat. It has been no one else. It has all originated from Mr. Holmseth. Now, in fact, there has been suspicion growing for quite some time that Timothy Charles Holmseth may in fact either be the original RadioNews.net or at some point worked with RadioNews.net to cover up this original alleged chat. So basically what you have here is a chat that has Timothy Charles Holmeseth saying the inappropriate things. And what makes you wonder if this isn't a really true chat is what comes out here. As you read down, um, 
as I study this. Uh, you get down and there's things in here now. It says I found something interesting about BeaconHill.com. Now he was at war with the owner of BeaconHill.com Beacon since the beginning and they attack her to this day. It's a rather interesting coincidence that Timothy Charles Holmseth and his supporters are attacking the same <coughs> Alexander Goddard Beacon Hill dot com that um, was attacking me. And if you go down a couple more lines, there's a thing here where it says she's a Scientologist. Now, this group has a thing against Scientology, and as a matter of fact, there has something that has been posted in the last 24 hours having to do with Scientology. And you go down again, and he says, doesn't like you blokes at all, which is rather curious, except for if you remember... Timothy Holmseth and Phil McConnell have, over the years, claimed connections to the British. So, he may have suspected somebody over in England that uh, was part of the group may be trying to just expose him. Uh, I'm a little confused with the mall thing, except for you have to understand that where Timothy Holmseth is hiding right now is a mall in Elk River. At least that's the allegation. And in his hometown of East Grand Forks, a mile south, is a very large mall. Now, remember, Timothy Charles Holmseth was interested in Haley Cummings in 2009, which was in Florida. Now, there's a possibility that, without anybody knowing it, that Mr. Holmseth has been in the state of Florida. He has an awful lot of interest in the state of Florida because of the cases of uh, Trent Duckett, this Florida, uh, Kelly Anthony, Florida, Kelly Cummings, Florida. So, Holmseth has been interested in all three of these cases right up to the very day today he's always mentioning florida he's already ta always talks about florida and this all happened a decade ago so there's the remote possibility here that might need to be looked into that there is a stronger connection to florida than everyone realizes um uh, And, you know, you go down through, and it says, I do not like animals anyway. And once again, this is what they are talking about on his various multimedia accounts. Both by him and his handler is bestiality and animals. Now... So, you have to wonder... What's what's going on here? You know, is um, is this a legitimate chat? If it's not, I have said for years that the chat attributed to me is a forgery. And one has to have something to do a forgery of. Now, could it be that Timothy Charles Holmes Seth is behind the original chats and they were diverted to make me the guilty party. It's a possibility to consider because remember now, Timothy Charles Holmseth has been fixated on me for almost a decade. He writes about me on a daily basis. His handler writes about me on a daily basis. And it's always my website. And the more I bring out that there's something going on here as far as him being in trouble with the law, with these convictions and everything, the more they make efforts to silence me. Now, at the end... Uh, of the chat 
we once again get into uh, some dialogue, as you see here. And it starts, Timothy Charles Holmseth published a photograph from 2009 that had been tucked away in Holmseth's secret files. The photo captured a questionable moment when Holmseth dressed her son up in woman's clothing. Now, they haven't come up with anything like that about me. They haven't found anything. You know, people that are in this sort of thing that are pedophiles or think about children usually have questionable photographs of children. And whatever excuse they have for having these photographs, they always seem to come out. And as a reminder, if you look at Tim Holmes' various blogs and the no longer existing videos, it's always the disgusting imagery of children that show up. 99 times out of 100, he's misrepresenting what the pictures are, but the pictures are there anyway. Uh, we have the uh, raccoon children. We have the children that are wrapped up in a taco. Um, he scours the internet looking for all these kind of pictures. And one has to wonder what pictures has Mr. Holmes have found that he hasn't shown to the public. Now, remember, uh, some time back, he actually asked for photographs of children. Uh, he used the excuse of he wanted to see children that had been victimized, but he made it clear that he wanted pictures of these children, and they may be published. So he seems to be awfully interested in children. And so, I, you know, I don't know what to say at this point. I, I can either confirm or deny that these chats that are in this article are genuine. The only thing I would suggest is people uh, make up your own mind. Read the article that uh, is linked in here and see for yourself. Um, you know, there's an obvious bias, of course. They are trying to find Tim Holmseth, and they're they're offering a $5,000 reward for his arrest. But consider this. Innocent men don't hide. Innocent men will defend themselves. They will come forward and personally defending themselves, defend themselves. I have defended myself for over a decade. I don't hide. I don't go into seclusion. I don't use fake social media sites to hide my presence. I don't pretend to be a woman on YouTube in order to get around a ban on YouTube. I am not banned on YouTube. I never have been banned on YouTube. So there's the difference, folks. Now, they can continue these attacks with all the cartoons, the TV reporting, the all this other stuff, and it's not going to hide the fact that now... There is a chat out here attributed to Mr. Holmseth, and the possibility remains that he may have forged the original chat to frame me, because he may have known that I was closing in on him, that I was determined to find out who originated uh, the attacks against me, who was radio news. There was a big hunt for radio news that lasted for years. And then all of a sudden, when Radio News is discovered, there's no thank you for Radio News being discovered. Uh, as a matter of fact, Mr. Holmseth has ignored Radio News altogether. And in some cases, even supported Radio News, which I find rather astonishing. So there's a lot more going on here than meets the eye. And so these, these chats that are coming up on... Um, this uh, website over on Facebook just might finally be the answer and just might finally be the real thing. You people have to decide for yourselves. All I'm doing is I'm presenting an, an alternative point of view. And to say that when you see internet content online purporting to say one thing, you might want to take a closer look at it. 
because it sure seems to me that I may have found the answer I've been looking for for 10 years, and I may have found where exactly these chats came from. And they may have come from Mr. Holmeseth himself. This is William K. Murtaugh, Mert with this one. Have a good one.